Let me show you examples of JSON. You hear the word JSON all the time, especially when you're talking about APIs. Lately, I've been creating videos about APIs and specifically RESTful APIs. And one of the properties of RESTful API is the request and the response is in a JSON format. And JSON is really easy to understand. So let me just show you examples of what a JSON looks like. So what you see here is a very simple JSON. The main characteristic of a JSON is it will start with a brace. Sometimes people call it curly brackets. But it starts with a brace. It can be also an array. It can start right there with the square bracket right here. This is both of those are a valid JSON. But let's keep it simple and we just do the brace. Then the main part is you have key and value pair, key and value pair, key and value pair. That's how the information comes to you as key, value, key, value. So in this JSON here, we have name, John Doe, age is 30, is a student is false. So whatever your application is that's consuming this data, when you're making a request for API and you get that response, you're going to parse this data. And this is very easy to parse. JSON is extremely easy to parse in your application, in your code. So this is a very simple JSON. Let me show you another one. This is another one a little bit more involved because it has in, uh, it has nested JSON in there. So when you look at this whole body, it's a JSON. And then you have this key and you have the value. The key is a string, which is courses. And the value is another array or a list. If you're from a Python background, you would call this a list. If you are from other languages, usually you call it an array. So the key is courses and the value is another list. And when we look at this list, it's a list of other JSONs, right? And again, if you're Python, you, you might call it dictionary. Um, in other languages, a hash map. But this is another JSON that is nested inside of this bigger JSON. So we have an array here. And inside of it, we have more more uh, JSONs, I guess, right? And we have the key, and this is the whole thing is a value. Then inside of here, we have a key, we have a value, we have a key, we have a value. Again, continue like that. Uh, let's look at another one. This is, we have a JSON, this is a key. Let's look at it, this is a key, this is a value. And when you look at the value itself, you have key value, key value. And another one of the keys, the value is another JSON. Again, it's nested, it's nested multiple levels. So this is really what a JSON is. If I show you, a, a, let me show you a bigger one. Look at this one. This guy, this is a JSON response from a WooCommerce API that has information about a product. When you make an API call to the WooCommerce API, you get a response about the product and you have so much information about that particular product. Another example, a real one here, this is an API for OpenAI to generate images. You have the URL and the response, but the request body is in a JSON format. You send a request in a JSON and you get a response in a JSON format, any application will parse it. So this is just a quick example of what a JSON looks like. Make sure you give me a follow to learn more about coding, testing, QA automation.